Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Arduino project. In our channel, you can already see many Arduino tutorials and projects. If you are new to our channel, you can visit complete playlist and go through them. And also I'll provide the relevant links in the description box. As per subscribers request, in today's video, we'll be making a joystick controlled wheelchair project. So we'll directly have a look on the components required for this project. An Arduino board. I'm using this Uno board. You can also go with Nano, Mega or any other type. One joystick module. Two BTS7960 motor drivers. One for right side motor and the other one for the left side. Coming to the motors, I'm using two e-bike motors of 24 volts and 350 watts. So these are very powerful motors. If you have a plan to make this project on real wheelchair, you can use the same motors since these motors can carry human weight easily. In case if you are making a smaller version just for demonstration, then you can use the normal 12 volt DC gear motors. Next, we need a power supply for the motors. I'm using this 12 volts lead acid battery. Some jumper wires. And at last, you can also consider this breadboard for easy connections. For all the individual components shown here, we have a separate step-by-step -step tutorials in our channel. So I recommend you to watch those videos before coming here. Moving on to the connections. First, I'll take the 5 volts and ground from the Arduino board to the breadboard. Since we need for all the components, this line is 5 volts and this is ground. From the joystick module, connect the ground and the 5 volt to the common 5 volts and ground of the breadboard. X and Y axis pins of the joystick goes to Arduino analog pins A0 and A1. The VCC and ground of both the motor drivers goes to the common 5 volts and ground on the breadboard. Right and left enable pins which is REN and LEN of both the motor drivers goes to common 5 volts on the breadboard. So here this driver will be for the right motor and this one for the left motor. Now the RPWM and LPWM pins of the right side motor driver goes to Arduino PWM pins 3 and 5. Similarly, the RPWM and LPWM pins of the left side motor driver goes to Arduino PWM pins 6 and 9. Next, we can connect the motors to M plus and M minus terminals for both the sides. Finally, we are left out with the battery terminals B plus and B minus. So I'm connecting the B plus and B minus terminals of both the drivers together. 
B plus to B plus and similarly B minus to B minus and this common connection goes to battery terminals so that's all the connections if you have any doubts you can refer to the circuit diagram link from the description box Moving on to the code, here I'll just go through briefly the flow of the logic. Since we are using two modules, joystick and the BTS driver, before watching this explanation, you should watch the previous two tutorials specifically on these modules. One is the joystick interfacing and reading the values and the second one is controlling the DC motors using the BTS driver. I'll leave both of these links in the description box. In the code, we'll start with the declaration section. First, we have X and Y axis pins of the joystick connected to A0 and A1. Next, the right side motor driver pins, which are the PWM pins. 3 and 5. Similarly for the left side motor driver, again two more PWM pins 6 and 9. And moving further we have some constant values. The value ranges from 0 to 1023 based on the voltage drop from 0 to 5 volts. Here at the center position the joystick values will be around 520. So while moving the joystick, the minimum value we get from the ADC is 0 and the maximum value is 1023. By moving forward, I have considered the start value as 535 up to 1023. Similarly, moving the joystick backward, it will start from 490 and goes to 0. So these values we need later for mapping the speed based on the joystick movement. So I have defined it here. Similarly for the y-axis, we have the same values. In the setup function, we are setting all the pin modes to output and additionally initializing the serial communication for printing the joystick values. And finally, in the loop, first we are reading the values from both analog pins A0 and A1. Here I have added this print statements to print both X and Y axis data. This you can also comment it out. Next, we have speed mapping. We are using the X axis data to move the wheelchair in the forward and backward direction. So first for the forward, we'll be mapping 535 to 1023 values to range of 0 to 255. And similarly, for the backward direction, we are mapping 490 to 0 to the range of 0 to 255. Similarly, for the y-axis, we'll be using this data for left and right controls. Here also, we are using the same values to map to the range of 0 to 255. And after this, we have simple if-else-if statements. If I'm moving the joystick to the forward direction, my x-axis data will start crossing 535 value. In that case, we have to run both the side motors in the forward direction. So that's why we can see LPWM for both the drivers are 0 and in the right PWM pin, we 
we are passing the duty cycle values based on the speed mapping so if my y-axis data is crossing 535 then I have to turn right which means my right side motor should rotate backward and left side motor should rotate forward that's why duty cycle values on the LPWM for right side driver and I'm using right PWM pin for the left side driver the same way my y-axis data if it's going less than 490 then we have to turn the wheelchair left so it's just reverse of the right direction right side motor will be rotating in the forward direction and left side motor in the backward direction and at last for the backward if my x-axis data is going less than 490 then for both the side motors I have to pass duty cycle for LPWM pins in any of other cases we are simply making all the PWM values to zero so that motors stay at rest so this is how the code works So let's upload this and we'll see how it works. Just for the demonstration purpose, I'm using a 12 volts battery as a motor supply. Therefore, our motors will be running with slower speed. If I move the joystick forward, so both motors are moving forward. and this is the backward direction both the motors are running backward this is for left and finally right in all four directions I'm also able to control the motor speed so this whole setup you can install it on the real wheelchair by doing some mechanical modifications for the motor shaft so this is all about the joystick control wheelchair for code and circuit visit the link given in the description box for more such interesting projects stay tuned and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching I'll be back in the next video